Some of them, <laughs> you need to do a parasite cleanse. Now, I want to talk about this, right? I yeah. just done one. Well, if you started doing it, I yeah. mean, you'd have worms hanging out your ass every night. <laughs> a pair of rubber gloves, fingers, little wiggly fingers. It'd be like, <laughs> like an alter, like an arse alter. It'd be like <laughs> you with a baseball bat in your house, <laughs> clumping them over the head. After about five or six days, you've never felt more mentally clear. And do you know why? Why? Because parasites control your cravings, cravings and thoughts. They make you crave sugar because they <laughs> want sugar. Crap. They can make you want stuff. These are parasites controlling stuff. our consciousness, are you yes. saying, Matthew? And I think people like you, Kip, and racist people might have parasites because it makes you fear the other and feel invaded. Hold it's on a, a second. It's a mental illness because caused you by think insects that and this stuff. external para- this externalised paranoia and fear of otherness is caused by tiny microscopic beings, parasites, that yeah, are causing you to have a sense of invasion because yes. you are being invaded. It's I love that. It's a wacky that. theory, but... It's a they, good theory. They, make, they cause a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> Some of them are really intense, like tapeworms and stuff. They can, you know, they can grow Matthew, you've long. really taken us into an interesting <clears throat> territory and that's not like you. It's, it's like the very, the very nature of your own consciousness may not be... Defined by the sovereignty of yourself, oh, yeah, but by these mate. bloody parasites. Do you think your brain? Right, you know that thing we once. I, I think I called it the wrong thing, but it's like toxoplasma or did. something. That rats, right, mm. will get this worm or whatever living in them. Yeah, ain't got all the facts. Listen, mate, like, don't tell me that. It's a rat. It's got a worm or something. Mate. Might be a woodlouse. No, but the worm gets might in be a mouse. Them. <clears throat> Listen, right. Yeah. These worms get in the rats. They erode the rat's sense of danger. The rat gets cocky, walks near cats. Cats kill it. That's the worm's life cycle, right? So you, we, if what, we've what, all what, got parasites... Does the worm want to live in the cat? The, cat, the, the, the worm, worm just sees... The worm the, lays his eggs in the rat. I think the rat... The worm will... sees the rat as a cab to a cat. Yeah, yeah. A worm gets into the rat and he just thinks, this will do me for now, but I'm on my way to a cat. The, cat, the rat's like, I'm on, suddenly I'm on top of the world. I can do anything. I can achieve anything. I'm better than you. It sees itself in a sequin-covered waistcoat. It's a real big shot. Okay. Roland Rat. Insult. Like Roland Rat. Yes. Remember how great he thought he was? He was arrogant, yes. What's your point? <laughs> I just liked him. I connected with him. You once said I was like him. Well, you sort of are. I'm the new Roland Rat. You are oh, very much But more that. peng and bear better. Yes. Right? You should do it because you, I think there's something wrong in your tummy. Because of the stench. Yes. Mm-hmm. Shall I say the name? Sure. Humor Worm, which is actually kind of what your next DVD should be called. <laughs> <laughs> you please yourself, yeah? I am, actually. <laughs> it's a real glow. <laughs> That's how you looked when old Belly Bounce turned up, innit? You cocked your arm over the back of your chair, you oh, lit you up. you put your foot on the desk with your knee up. Did I actually do that? Yes. Someone that I... It's what we call... what When dogs... In dogs, it's called presenting. Bloody heck. You pretty much just bent over and went, Do what you want! <laughs> oh, my God, El Nordico! Dark Knights of the Soul. Steel Hammer, you got it all. Bloody bones! <laughs> <laughs> my lieges, consider it done, and I shall return. I love that.